Well, I think this is recording. My LCD screen I need to replace. Cost me about fifty dollars. Um, so anyway, this here is a belt splitter I made. It just fits in the vise. It's just some scree aluminium. So I drilled a hole. Uh, got a caping saw and uh, that's what I call a caping saw and then squared it up one of these guys and marked it up so it's in lines to make a nice square square line and then cut it nice and square so I've just fit an old uh, broken uh, axle blade in there because they cost nothing um, just sharpened up one edge with the uh, angle grinder, just carefully, going with the grain. Well, it's sort of, if the yeah, grinder was uh, grinding into that, that would be no good. I uh, had the wheel going uh, clockwise on this side, and then switched it around and went the other side. And that worked perfectly alright. Uh, see the the edge there. Well, it came up good enough to, to split the zirconium thick cloth zirconium carbide belt that I had from 50 down to 1 inch to fit my purposes. Cheap and easy and very very useful because there's just uh, tons of 50 mil abrasives and uh, not so many one inch ones that I wanted. Uh, now zirconium carbide, this is a, I don't know how, how recent it is but it's really really good. It's uh, pretty close to diamond hardness. There's not much between a diamond and a zirconium carbide. So uh, it's a bit cheaper I think. And diamond. They can't get it down thinner though. Uh, I forget what grain this one is, but uh, oh, here it is P120. I think that's as uh, small as it goes. So you can't get it down to sort of, um, you know, working with knives really, but I suppose if you're removing metal, that'd be okay. But not, not around the edge. But uh, great for sharpening a machete as I just did before in my new invention. <laughs>